It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Bucks and the Niners. All that and more coming up next. From the future side of Super Bowl 60 in a few years' time, there's a look inside Levi Stadium here in Santa Clara. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one in the NFC, as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you had to feel for the 49ers and their fans in last year's NFC Championship game, seeing the quarterbacks go down, but Brock Purdy, after the elbow surgery, back to take over once again. And an even more confident Brock Purdy. Remember how he took over last year and they got on that great run? Now, he'll be much more in command of the offense, understand it fully, and knows exactly who to get the ball to in order to produce points for this 49ers team. And then for the visiting Bucs, you know, all of a sudden, Super Bowl 55 feels like it was a long time ago. Tom Brady retired. Some of the stalwarts of that team have moved on. They did win the NFC South last year, but they did so with a losing record at 8-9. and nine. And sometimes, when you have a chance to begin again, other people emerge and play at a level that you don't expect. And that's what Tampa Bay needs from this team in 2023. The kicker, Jake Moody, has got it teed up. And we are underway now from Santa Clara. Here's Devin Tompkins on the return. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So here are the Buccaneers ready to go on offense with a new man at the helm here for 2023 in his sixth season now in the NFL, Baker Mayfield. The former number one overall pick has had his ups and downs in recent seasons, but he finished strong last year and inherits a really good offense in Tampa that should set him up for success. Now a third round pick a year ago. Here's Rashad White. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Play fake, Mayfield. That's completed right side to Palmer. Short completion, just four yards. And that'll bring us to a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Mayfield from the gun on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Fourth down, here's Jay Camarda on the punt for the Bucks. Ray Ray McLeod deep here for the Niners. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. With the Niners offense set to go to work, and it's last year's revelation, Brock Purdy, who leads them out in season number two from Iowa State. There weren't many bigger stories last season than Purdy, who's officially the most famous Mr. Irrelevant of all time. Won each of his first five starts and almost guided his team to a Super Bowl. He's really forced the team to reevaluate its plans at quarterback because he looks like the real deal. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 24. What a pickup this man was last year. It's Christian McCaffrey. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The ball on the 32, it's second and two. Again, they run, again it's McCaffrey. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. 
second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Now on first down, it's Purdy. That's complete, it's Brandon Ayuk. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 25 yards that time. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Purdy now to throw. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. Just a gain of a couple there. And that will bring up second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. A second down throw for Purdy. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there was no way that ball was going to be caught. So they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Purdy will look to throw again here. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. A 55-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will remain a scoreless game. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That, too. <laughs> they start to drive with White. A oh, nice move at midfield. Yeah, boy, the strength on display there as he rumbles through tacklers for a gain of about eight. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. On second down, they'll run with White. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the plays we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White, and he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. A rough go there on third down, a loss of four. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. 
And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. From the 24 now, here's second and nine. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they're looking at a second down and nine to go. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Third and eight. Purdy. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So a mistake there, Charles, from the rookie pass rusher. And oftentimes when you make the jump from college to the NFL, you have to adjust to the rules. But in this case, the rule's no different than in college. Once the ball's gone, you can't continue on and get your shot in. That's one where you have to have some discipline. And even though he's a rookie, he really should know better. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Now is second and 10. Purdy from the gun. That's over the middle and caught by Ayu. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Purdy looking to throw. Here as he's taken down. Devin White defeating the offensive line and getting to the quarterback. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. Back deep for the Bucs is Devin Tompkins. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And partner, I know so far, and we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. But you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right, where these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second, run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. This is second and eight. They run straight ahead here with White. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. Here's Mayfield. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Mayfield. The pass is caught by Kate Otten. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 17 yards on the play at a Buccaneer first down. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. First down, Mayfield. And that one too wide and incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Here's second and ten. Mayfield. That's taken in by Palmer. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. The Bucks passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage. The drag route can be effective when it's run well. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Going to the air again with Mayfield. He completes it to Evans. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 30-yard line. It's one play at a time, baby. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Now a second down throw for Mayfield. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Mayfield off the play fake. Sideline and incomplete. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Well, the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half. And we'll see what they want to do. 45 seconds is all that remains until the break. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. That's complete. It's Kyle Juszczyk. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. The throwing here, Purdy. That's Samuel caught left side. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be second down. Brings up second and four. Purdy will set up to throw it here. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. Now San Francisco will going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. On first down, Purdy. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Brings up second and four at the 15-yard line. 
Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Second down and four. Purdy sets up to throw again. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. A big Vita Vea pushing his way through to wind up with a sack. So plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment, but welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been a defensive stalemate. No scoring in that first half whatsoever, but a breakthrough can't be too far off. And for the start of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. So no scoring in our first half. What will the second half bring as we are now back underway? And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And Charles, a scoreless first half. How does that change how you assess things here moving forward? Well, it doesn't change it a whole lot because, remember, it's still scoreless, which means you're starting from zero again, so you just have one half to play instead of two. What I would look at my play sheet, though, and see is something that maybe loosens things up for my guys, gets a smile on their faces, and gets them going to begin the second half. Starting the second half of the run by McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Stuck for the loss by Devin White. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 15 for the Niners there to first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away. From there he goes, right side. And he'll take this all the way down to the 15-yard line. 74 yards for him on the ground now. He has been terrific here this afternoon. And a guy that can change the game shows you a glimpse of it right there, taking the ball down inside the red zone. It just tells you how tough it is for a defense. You just hold on all game and essentially hold your breath. Will they break a big one on us at any point during the game? It just happened right there. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Back to throw, Purdy. He'll get this into the hands of Ayuk. And the 49ers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. Purdy now to throw. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Well, there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. 
Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. McCaffrey will get into the end zone for a 49er touchdown. Jake Moody now for the point after. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. So the drive there took six plays. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. From the end zone, here's Devin Tompkins. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. The throw over the middle, taken in. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. A yard all they need, but it's third down. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass, and they get 12 yards out of it. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Mayfield slow complete to Otten. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. First down, here's White. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive. And here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. They go play action. Mayfield. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. Here's a second and eight. It's Buccaneer football, but they've got work to do. They find themselves behind here to start the fourth quarter. 
Meanwhile, Mayfield throw on target to Godwin here. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Now back to the ground game with White. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You gotta be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. They go right back to White here on first down. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Rashad White, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth-quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 23. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he'll get nothing out of that one. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Birdie. Got a man. That's IU. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Play action. Now Purdy. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown. That's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of points because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement long touchdown. Moody good with the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to seven.
So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that, oh, nearly picked off. But well, would have been a great time for their first interception of the game. Instead, it's second down. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was right for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game. But it winds up incomplete. A second down throw for Mayfield. He's got it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need, down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there, but it's second down. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Mayfield. Pro right side taken in by Godwin. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. A tackle almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Well, the faithful in full war here in Santa Clara. This is third down. Mayfield. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And this would have been returned to right around the 38-yard line. Well, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were zoned defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes... Those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. the gun McCaffrey pushing through the contact now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play He's going to get it again. Just looking to get through and protect the ball. Touchdown! Five years. Christian McCaffrey, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Niners have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, They'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. Moody good with the extra point. And it's now 21-7. to 
It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So Mayfield and the Bucks down by two touchdowns. 109 to play. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Now Mayfield. But it's caught. Tompkins. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Mayfield the throw. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. Passing lanes, tough to come by with so many defensive backs on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies. It's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. Here's Baker. There's a nice move. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Well, they need to score, and score quick. One timeout remaining. Final minute, first and ten. And again, it's Mayfield. Got a man downfield. It's Elton. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Now Mayfield. He completes it right side of the lane. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Second and six coming up. Throwing Mayfield. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Well, the noise got to be an issue now offensively. Here's third and six. Mayfield looks to throw. And off balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. The decision made for them, they've got to go. It's fourth down. Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. One last shot at the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. 
They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. Purdy down to a knee, and that should be the final act of the ball game. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com.